All right, guys, uh, I'm going to film a quick intro for this video here. Uh, I had a cool little intro filmed and didn't realize that my wife's camera was out of focus the whole time I was shooting. So, uh, anyway, what you're going to see here is a quick unboxing of some stuff that I bought to put in the trailer. Uh, it's the first stage of possibly adding solar power to the trailer. And uh, you're going to see me unbox it and the insulation process, most of the insulation process. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. Okay. By the way, guys, I will link everything in the description down below. See how I did that, like a real YouTuber? And, uh... So you'll know what parts I used. All right, cool. Looks like it comes with these uh, shockproof uh, mounting hardware, which is kind of important on a trailer. I really was worried about this shaking around. I've been trying to figure out how I was going to mount it. So that's good. Comes with this uh, on off button and shows you if there's a fault. It's got a long lead on it, so depending on where you mount it, you have plenty of wire there to get it to where it's useful or easy to see. And then some short cables, which I don't think these are going to be long enough for what I need. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we got, uh, I don't know what brand this is, but it's a pure sign inverter. 2,000 peak watts, 1,000 watt continuous. I figured that would be plenty to run these lights and these chargers if not I may just run just the light and my, my other little charger that I need but uh, I th I'm thinking I was looking in the trailer earlier the trailer's a mess right now I've got all this mud in here and uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking about putting the battery right there up on top of the tool cubby just building its own little box the only thing I'm worried about that is heat, but I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. And then I'm thinking about putting the inverter here, which actually I may have enough cable to do that. Put the inverter right there. So, so let me get all this mud moved out of the way so I can get in here and work and uh, we'll get to doing an install. This battery is bigger than I thought it was. I didn't even check the dimensions. Uh, So it's physically bigger than I thought it was going to be. Looks like it's uh, about eight and three eighths, but ten if you count the terminals. Right at thirteen and six and three quarters. So I'm going to see if it will fit up there where I need it to fit. Well, that's uh, uncomfortably close, really, but uh, I believe if I get it strapped down, I think it'll work. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put these wires on here, try to get an idea of if they're going to be long enough. I'm going to have to go and get a fuse for the positive side. 
and looks like a ground it didn't come with a ground and it does have a place here for a ground wire this may actually work out good because this will put the outlets there on that side which will be to where I can plug it in all right so it looks like my mountain location works the wires work all I'll need is a fuse uh, to put in line in the hot side so I'm gonna go up here get it mounted and then uh, I'll go pick up a fuse and come back this this is gonna be way quicker than I thought That's not going anywhere. All right, take the battery back out and put the cables on it and uh, put it back up in there. And then I just got to figure out a little, a little tray with a mount somehow. And we'll go from there. <laughs> Anti-sparky. All right, let's set it back up there and see how she fits. <sighs> Did I mention that that battery's heavy? Then we'll drill a quick hole for the wires to run through because I don't like them pinched up between this cross member here. Okay, moment of truth. We got the wires hooked up. I'll clean this up before right now I'm just testing. All right, now for the real test. All right, if, when I flip this switch at the lights come on, we did good. Ta-da. Let's, let's see if the chargers are charging. Chargers are charging. Let's check the flux capacitor, see if it's fluxing. All right, I'm just kidding. I don't have a flux capacitor yet. That is a, uh, hopefully an upgrade I'm gonna make soon, a flux capacitor, because there are a lot of things I'd like to go back and fix. Okay, so I think I, think I need to shift the inverter back just a little bit. Hmm. May have to go back and up a little bit because I'm real close to hidden when I roll this up. Real close there. So I think I'm going to go back towards the back of the trailer and up towards the top of the trailer. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. I, I'm, I'm going to go get a uh, a fuse, uh, inline fuse for the hot side, and uh, try to figure out a mount for this. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So you'll notice my batteries are charging. My lights are on. Only thing is, I'm not connected to shore power. So I gave up filming the install process. It's just too tight in here. I could not, it's just been slowing me down to trying to get the camera angles and all that stuff. So we got a, anyway, so we got the inverter here. Got a ground here and the chassis ground. That's a 200 amp fuse. I didn't have anything smaller. And I noticed this is a 100 amp input. So I've got some 100 amp fuses ordered. Probably won't be running this much until I get those in. But anyway, and then, uh, so the way this is gonna work right now is I've got this battery tender, which of course I'm running off of battery power. So it's not charging anything. I'll explain that here in a second. Got this battery tender so when the truck is or when the trailer is plugged up to shore power it will charge the battery the battery of course is sitting over here for right now i just put a couple scrap pieces of wood in here to hold it um 
And then when I want to, when I'm plugged up to shore power, I'll just come and connect this lead like this. And my battery tender will keep the battery charged. If that works out, I may not even add the solar panel because honestly, it's about a $400 expense. But I think it's around $300 for it in the control, the charge controller I want. So, but yeah, so if get ready to plug up to shore power, we'll just come over here. This stuff is really hard to do with one hand, sorry. So, connect that. And a solid red light means it is charging the battery. So that's what we got for now. If I can keep from punching a hole through my roof and a potential leak then, and save a few bucks, I may not add the solder if this, I'm gonna see how long this battery will run um, without being charged. I'm pretty sure just running these two LED light strips and these chargers back here, I don't think I'll have any problem. Um, I don't, I never could find how many amps these chargers are pulling, but I don't think it's much. And I did, I plugged a skill saw up. Skill saw came on just fine. Now I wouldn't run a skill saw off that inverter for very, for very much at all. If at all, I've got a cordless skill saw. So, but yeah, anyway, that's what I've got so far. Good morning. Oh. So it's still dark out. We just got finished with a job yesterday. I left the trailer plugged up to battery power. Well, wow. it is dark out here. Decided I would come out, check the battery voltage. It's been running since about six o'clock last night. It's about 4.30 now. nice and bright so let me grab my voltmeter and I'm gonna check the battery voltage see where it's at okay no way for me to uh, check that and show you the voltage but like I said, it's been on all night long since, I don't know, we finished that job up yesterday. It's close to 6. So, yeah, it's 4.30 this morning. The battery still has 11.5 volts in it. So, that's pretty good. I really, seeing that, I'm not sure if I will, uh, I'm not sure if I will go through the expense and the trouble punching a hole in my ceiling. Uh all that to add solar so anyway i just thought i would uh throw this in on the end of the video real quick uh we've been the, the i've had this system in here for like a month now but this trailer trailer's been sitting on a job plugged up for three weeks uh solid so this is the first time i've really run it on the batteries but it's run all night long still got 11 and a half volts I don't know for what for what it's worth anyway guys i appreciate you watching the video uh hope you enjoy them maybe you get something out of them i don't know anyway it's cold out here i'm going back in the house thanks for watching